Hey guys, this is Miss Lipo. Hope you guys are doing okay. Today we're going to create a landscape. A landscape is any outdoor place. And normally when we've talked in class, we've talked about landscapes being deserts and rainforests and countrysides and mountainscapes. But today we are going to create a neighborhood landscape. And this could be um, a landscape that you create um, from sitting on your porch or sitting in your backyard or if you can't go outside, then you can look out of one of your windows and draw what you see out the window. So uh, we're going to read the book, The Paper Boy. The story and the paintings are by Dave Pilkey. That means he wrote the book and he created the pictures. And we're going to focus on the concepts of landscape, things that are in the foreground that are big and that are close to you, and the middle ground that are medium size that are in the middle and uh, things that are in the background that are far away and which appear smaller. And you see, I kind of just did a little sketch from my porch. Uh, later, I'll, we'll do a sketch where I'm gonna be drawing from my window as well, but let's get started and read The Paper Boy by Dave Pilkey. So we see that in the, on this first page, on the cover page, that there's somebody working at the printing factory with all of the newspapers and a delivery driver that is delivering those newspapers. And on this page, we see that delivery truck driving down the street and it looks really, really early in the morning or maybe it's still late at night. It's probably like three or four o'clock in the morning. We see objects in the foreground that are big, in the middle ground that are medium size, and the background that are small because they're further away. We also have that horizon line, the line that separates the sky from the ground. This is another great painting of objects in the foreground, in the middle ground, in the background. We have that horizon line as well. You can see the different shapes of the houses and the windows. They all look a little different. The mornings of the paper boy are still dark, and they are always cold, even in the summer. And on these cold mornings, the paper boy's bed is still warm, and it is always hard to get out, even for his dog. So we can see out his window that the moon is still out. So it means the sun hasn't rose yet. But they do, getting up and getting ready. And softly they step down the quiet hall, past the door where the paper boy's father and mother are sleeping, past the door where his sister is asleep. And down to the kitchen where they eat from their bowls. It's like he's eating cereal for breakfast. Still dark outside. You can tell from those windows. And out to the garage where they quickly fold the papers, snapping on a green rubber band and placing them in a large red bag. So he must have got those papers from the delivery truck. And then he has to wrap them up and deliver them. It's hard to ride a bike when you're loaded down with newspapers, but the paper boy has learned how to do this, and he is good at it. He's got his light and his helmet on. He's ready to go. His dog's following along with him. The paper boy knows his route by heart, so he doesn't ever think about which house to pedal to. Instead, he is thinking about other things, big things and small things, and sometimes he is thinking about nothing at all. All these houses look a little different. And there's that horizon line, the line that separates the sky from the ground. It's still the moon is out. It's not sunrise yet. His dog, too, knows this route by heart. He knows which trees are for sniffing. He knows which bird baths are for drinking. Which squirrels, which squirrels are for chasing, and which cats are for growling at. 
Can you guys find those in the picture? Cat, squirrel, horizon line. All the world is asleep except for the paper boy and his dog. And this is the time when they are the happiest. And sometimes those horizon lines don't have to go straight across the page. This one goes up, up at an angle. Where do you think these houses are? Do you think they're in the foreground, middle ground, or background? They look pretty far away. Oh, looks like the sun is starting to rise above the horizon line. But little by little, the world around them wakes up. The stars and the moon fade away, and the skies become orange and pink. And when the paper boy has delivered his last newspaper, he and his dog race home, and his empty red bag flaps behind him in the cold morning air. Soon they are back home. It is still dark inside, but the sounds of the morning are all around. His father and mother are awake and talking softly in their bed. And his sister is downstairs watching Saturday morning cartoons. And back inside in his own room, the paper boy pulls down his shade and crawls back into his bed, which is still warm. And while the world is waking up, the paper boy is going back to sleep. And his dog is sleeping too. And their work is done. The end. So I want you to get out some paper or like I said before like some cardboard if you don't have any paper so if you need some uh, if you don't have any kind of like white paper or you can really use anything another thing that might be cool to use would be newspaper you could always use newspaper and you could draw on it with a black pen or something um, since we read the book the paper boy and I'm gonna put that back here so in this artwork here, what I did was I was sitting on my porch. Now, you might not be able to go outside in the front or the back. If you can go out on the front on your front porch or if you can go in the backyard, but if the adult in your house said no, you may not do that, then you may not do that. So you find a window and find a window that you like the view from. The view is what you see. I'm in my middle, the middle room of my house, and through the window I can see is my neighbor's kind of porch in their driveway. I can see a couple, couple houses across the street, and I can see a little bit of the park that nobody's able to play at right now, but I can see a little bit of that. Uh, earlier this morning, I drew this from my porch, so that was me sitting on my porch, and you can see the... Um, the walkway that goes up to my porch. I have my cactus. There's one of the the beams to my porch. Um, I kind of sketched out where there's a big plant and there's my car and there's steps to uh, a, a lot back there that there's no house to. Um, it's just grass over there. And then over here is um, a house with a driveway. So that's all really that I could see. And there's the street. So I can use whatever materials that I have to draw what I see outside. We're going to draw your, a neighborhood landscape. So if you can't go outside, then what I want you to do is find that, a window that you want to draw from. And I want you to make the window the majority of the page so that you have more things to draw out of. And remember, you can use any kind of material. So if you have pencils, if you have crayons, markers, if, you're, if you have a paintbrush, if you want to turn the marker into paint. If you don't have a paintbrush, you could always use um, maybe a Q-tip. But again, you need to ask the adult in your house for those kinds of things if you want to use them. So if I was drawing... my window i'm going to try i'm turning my paper this way you can have it either direction 
but I'm going to make my windows the majority of the page and I'm sketching it out. I'm not going to do a full finished one because everybody's going to have something different from each other because we all live in different places. So I know that I have the double window and I'm not really worried. My lines are completely straight. I can always go back over them if you have a ruler cool. If not, don't worry about it. I'm not using a ruler. So there's my window and I'm making this go out. I'm making those at an angle because the window sill goes out a little bit. Just a little. And there's the front of it. And there's another long piece of wood that goes around the outside. So I can even think about what objects can be in the foreground, middle ground, and background, even looking through a window. So on here, I did it pretty close, but the cactus is very large, pretty much almost the same size. Actually, it's bigger. That is bigger than the stairs. So you can see that my cactus, my cacti, is in the foreground. And these stairs are in the background. They're further away because they're smaller. My car um, that's in front of my house looks like it's overlapping the, the, the sidewalk behind it. From my view, that's what it looked like. I couldn't see that part of the sidewalk, so that's why I drew that above the, that line, above that sidewalk line. I really don't have a horizon line in this artwork. Um, but we can tell things go back into space. I could have made a horizon line really back behind here. I can see another street and sometimes I can see some train cars um, in the back, but that's only sometimes. So I could have drawn it from that angle and not made so much of my porch, but I decided that's that was the composition that I wanted to draw. So if I'm drawing a window and I'm drawing what I see out of the window, and I can see my neighbor's porch. I can see my neighbor's porch over here. And that kind of angles down because there's some steps. And I should probably draw the steps that way. There we go. And I told you there's also a park in the background. And I really only can see a little bit of the park right now. And it's way back here. So the angle of the street is going that direction. So really, that's what I'll draw, is I'll draw the street through my window. So that's the perspective. The way I can see it right now is the street is going that way. Remember these lines? If it's going one direction, it's parallel, going alongside of it alongside each other. They never cross. They go in the same direction. They're at the same angle. So really back here I can see only kind of part of the park. And I'm going to make the line kind of right here. That's the grass. And I can see part of some of the playground equipment. Only a little bit. And it looks like it's I know that looks kind of strange that it's like drawn at the top of my window, but from the perspective that I can see, that's where it looks like it's at. Maybe I'll put the swings down here. And actually, I can't see the, uh, see the swings, but I'm going to draw them here because it's otherwise it just look like two poles. But it's actually the swing set that nobody can go to right now. We can start drawing those things. Um, part of my neighbor's porch. And it looks like it's going over the street. But that's just the way it looks. It's not really on top of the street. We actually live on a hill. So we're kind of elevated a little bit. So what I want you to do is pick 
either a place in, uh, that you're looking out of a window at your house and draw your window and draw the objects that you see outside so you're making your neighborhood landscape. Or if you're able to, go onto your porch or, your, or into your backyard. If you're not able to, don't worry about it. Then that's what, that's what the adult in your, at your house told you. Then you, then you can't go out on the front porch or the back porch. Then choose the window. I cannot wait to see them all. Um, I would love for you, if you make some artwork, that you email your artwork to valentineart at gmail.com. So I'd love to see what artwork that you guys are making while we're at home.